weight. To examine what weight is, let's start with Newton's second law of motion. Force equals mass times acceleration. On the surface of the Earth, if you drop an object, it's going to accelerate at 9.8 meters per second per second. And so we have a special letter for that. It's little g. And so if we replace the a, uh, the acceleration in Newton's second law, with g, then we get the weight, because it is the weight of the apple, the force that pulls the apple towards the Earth. So the force due to gravity, F sub g, is equal to mg. And that's what weight is. And of course, weight being a force, it's measured in Newtons. So if we're going to draw an illustration showing weight, again, weight is F sub g. We see this, we just call it weight, and weight equals mg. Repeat after me. Weight is mg. One more time. Weight is mg. Good. So if we're drawing an illustration of this, we would draw the mass of the apple. We just point to the apple. We draw a force vector pulling down on the apple, and that's the apple's weight. And off to the side, we could show that if the apple were falling, that it would accelerate at 9.8 meters per second squared. Weight versus mass. We often get uh, confused between weight and mass. And often we, when we're talking about mass, we're saying weight. And that's uh, pretty easy to do because we live here on the surface of the Earth and we can't um, escape and leave Earth. So let's see what the difference is between mass and weight. First of all, mass is really just a measure of inertia. And remember, inertia was the resistance of an object to a change in motion. So mass, quite simply, is the amount of force divided by the amount of acceleration of an object when we actually get it to accelerate. So if we take the force applied and divide by how much the object accelerates, that tells us the inertia of the object. And uh, if we do have an object that is being pulled by gravity, we also could look at mass being the weight of the object divided by the acceleration due to gravity. So again, mass is a measure of inertia. Now an object's mass won't change. It is the same everywhere. So my mass here on Earth, if I uh, fly to the moon, uh, my mass would be the same on the moon that, that it is here on Earth. And if I go to Mars, my mass would still be the same. However, my weight would be different. It would be different everywhere. And the reason being is even though my mass is the same, the acceleration due to gravity, uh, these, vari these other various locations in the universe would change. And therefore, my weight would change. Uh, and weight is a force measured in Newtons, where mass is a, um, is a universal quantity of a, measure of a measure of inertia measured in kilograms. Again, weight and mass are hard to differentiate here on Earth. And the reason being is because they're directly proportional. Obviously, the bowling ball has a lot bigger mass than the baseball. It's a lot harder to change the motion of a bowling ball, a lot harder to throw a bowling ball than it is a baseball, a lot harder to stop a bowling ball than a baseball. And that's because of its mass, its inertia. Well, since a bowling ball has more mass than a baseball, it also has more weight than a baseball. These are directly proportional. So the big difference is that if we left the Earth and we went way out in space, if I were to move a bowling ball back and forth uh, with my arms, it would be a lot harder to move a bowling ball back and forth with my arms than it would be a baseball. And yet, if I just very carefully let them go, they would just sit there in space. They wouldn't have any weight. So this could be zero, even though they would both have mass. A bowling ball would still have the same amount of mass, and a baseball would still have the same amount of mass. But the acceleration due to gravity would be zero, so there would be no weight. And so weight is definitely different than mass, but it's really, really hard for us to tell here on Earth because on Earth they're directly proportional. As one gets bigger, so does the other. 
fly me to the moon. Uh, that'd be kind of fun to go to the moon, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen for me. Maybe for you. Um, if we were to go to the moon, we would see falling objects look a lot different on the moon than they do here on Earth. If we look at our example here on Earth, we know that if an apple is dropped, it's going to accelerate, and it'll accelerate at 9.8 meters per second squared. And that's because the weight, because of the weight of the apple, the weight of the apple is causing it to be pulled downward and accelerate at that amount g, 9.8. The mass of the apple would be the same on the moon, but the gravity on the moon is much less, and so the weight of the apple is much less on the moon, and the acceleration due to gravity is much less on the moon, only about one-sixth that of the Earth. Therefore, on the moon, uh, with less weight, less acceleration due to gravity, an apple would look like it was uh, accelerating a lot less than it does here on Earth. And yet, the mass is the same. One of the things you got to stop and do, make sure is to have fun, too. Because you're only probably going to come this way once. I was strolling on the moon one day in a merry, merry month of December, how May, May, when they're much to my surprise, a pair of bunny eyes. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is a neat way to travel. Isn't that great? Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. I like to skip along, but me, boy. Skip. Or whatever you call it. I can't get my left leg in front of me. It was almost dangerous. And you lose sight of the fact that it's a vacuum out there, and if you spring a leak next to it, you're going to be dead. Uh oh. So let's do some problems with weight here. Let's do a little comparison. Let's see uh, my weight uh, on the Earth versus my weight on the moon. So if we're doing a problem like this and uh, I knew my mass on the Earth, which it is right around 82 kilograms or about 180 pounds. So 82 kilograms ma of mass and I know that the acceleration due to gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared then I can find my weight because weight is equal to mg. So the 82 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared is 804 newtons. That's about 180 pounds. I guess we're, I'm glad we use uh, pounds uh, in, in the United States because wow, 804 newtons, that sounds like a lot. Uh, anyway, the illustration for that would look like this. Uh, I would, there would be a force of me pushing down on the scale and bring, uh, and if the scale weren't there, I would accelerate at 9.8 meters per second squared, and pointing to me, my mass is 82 kilograms. Now, if I'm on the moon, the acceleration due to gravity is a lot less, 1.6 meters per second squared, and so when I do the same exact problem, but plug in 1.6 meters per second squared instead of 9.8, wow, I only weigh 131 newtons. Uh, and that is only about 31 pounds. So um, I could really bounce around like those astronauts easily because I would be strong enough to carry 180 pounds like I always do, but I'd only weigh 31. That's why they were bouncing around so easily. But again, I didn't change. The stuff that makes me up didn't change. And so my mass, my mass stayed the same. Um, it was my weight that changed. 
Weight is a force due to gravity. So, what is gravity? Well, that's going to have to wait. And Scratch's parting thought. And good luck on your quest for continuous improvement.